Thank you very much for a very long and kind introduction of me. Uh, so, welcome to the workshop. So, I'm very happy to be here to transfer my technology to you, for you, and for your patients behind of you. Okay. So, I first uh, succeeded with vacation in human oocyte, human oocyte and embryos in 1999. Okay. Since then, I still keep continue to improve the technology to be perfect for anyone. So I already gave the modification for four times in the past. And last year, about six months ago, we completed to establish a certification procedure to be perfect, to obtain 100% for anyone. Okay. Since then, we have already conducted 15 workshops in 12 countries, and the total number of participants is 250. So all the participants have to vitrify. Uh, human oocyte uh, blastocyst by their hands. Then, still we continue to 100% survival for 250 participants. So, uh, today, I expect all of you obtain 100% by your hands. Okay? You know, uh, the, um, uh, my purpose to achieve is 100%, okay? Because in 1999, when I first published my results, in that year, I have, we have vitrified 6,000 PN zygotes in 1999. And survival rate was 99.6. Okay, then I published it in Japanese society, 99% survival. First, no one believed me. Okay. And uh, the people said, and the president of the Japanese uh, human reproduction, a very powerful man, he said, he obtained about 90% survival by slow freezing method for PN zygote. And he said 90% is enough. He's happy with 90% at that time. So I don't know what is vitrification 10 years ago. No one knows. Vitrification, yeah, it's very doubtful. I don't use yours. So I was very angry at the discussion in the conference. So the doctor said, so, do you understand the meaning of 90%. 90% is not high. Okay. If we have 10 patients, I kill one patient in 10. If today we have 20, we ha I have to kill two patients. If we have 100 patients, we have to kill 10 patients in each 100. Okay. We have to kill many, many oocytes, many embryos. This is 90%. And after that, I met cancer patients. Okay. You know, 90% survival means okay, only good embryo survive. 10%, you know, this is weak oocyte. We cannot vitrify, we cannot save the life of the weak oocyte. For cancer patients, after chemotherapy, all the oocyte is 10% okay, weak. And all the patients, okay, the quality is very bad. And some PCO patients or other patients have, they produce only bad quality of all sites, okay? For these patients, 90% survival means 0% survival. Okay, this is what, what I mean. So we need 100%, okay? However, fortunately, we have already established 100% survival method. It is called the cryotech method, okay? Today, so we have, I think it takes five hours workshop, okay? Please enjoy the workshop and have confidence after the workshop by your hands. Okay. Okay, so first I give a basic lecture about cryotech. Okay. Can you make it a little darker? To give more, to, to image clear. This, this one. Okay, today I talk about the technology. So most of uh, the participants you over here you, you are learning, you are coming here to learn the procedure. However, to completely understand, understand the procedure, first, you must understand the purpose of the technology. The purpose of the clay preservation is, please confirm. Okay. So everything is, okay. what is clay preservation? It is for keep, this is keeping technology keeping the precious life of a human, it is also an embryo. Okay. With no, giving no damage and no risks. 
until the day of the patient's dream will come true. This is the purpose of vitrification. Okay. For that purpose, we have to learn the procedure. Okay, first uh, today, so I have four messages to you. Okay. The first one is, is perfect protocol is already established. And high survival means not only effective, it means safety. And the virus transmission in liquid nitrogen is impossible. And the last one, the secret of 100% of survival. Okay? First. The first, I give you some, the history of the my vitrification. Okay, so I'm Japanese people look younger than some people. So I, I think you, I look young, young, younger, but I'm not young. I'm 50 years old. Okay? So for, uh, I have studied vitrification for 27 years. Vitrification is not new to me. I have studied, studied a long time. For example, for in 1991, more than 20 years ago, I first succeeded in vitrification of uh, the bovine blastocysts. This is the first success of vitrification of IBF derived mammalian embryo. It's 1991. So I designed the six step method, vitrification method, and obtained 90% survival for bovine blastocysts and produced two basic calves. calves. The next year, it succeeded uh, mammalian oocyte and also produced two healthy calves. Then I tried the ovine and equine uh, and so many kind of animals. And finally, we obtained success, success after the vitrification of porcine blastocysts in 1997. Then finally, we succeed in the vitrification of a porcine oocyte in 1998. Okay? You know, it means because the porcine is the most, most difficult animal for crab preservation, and the oocyte is the most difficult stage to be crab preserved. So the combination of a porcine oocyte is the most difficult cell in all mammalian cell for crab preservation. However, Vitrification, we obtained 90% survival and produced a healthy piglet in 1998. So at that year, I thought we can vitrify all the cells in normal. Then I designed an um, you know, open cut store method to obtain, you know, I, in animal reproduction, 90% is enough for the animal reproduction. However, I, I was not enough. Okay? wanted to improve to obtain the perfect one. Then I designed the cattle, using cattle blastocysts, open cattle soil. This is the original uh, method of cryotop. And next year, uh, 1999, I, I start, I start uh, studying human reproduction. And I started working in cattle radius clinic. That was not the biggest clinic at that term. So I, established a laboratory, research laboratory, and uh, developed the new technologies. So it, I started in April 1st in 1999. In next month, in, in May, uh, we have one patient from New York. So the wife came to me, and then after using natural chromium cycle, we obtained only two good oocytes from 37 years old patients. However, the husband could not come to Japan because of the air accident. So we have to wait for 24 hours, husband, for the next flight. So I decided to, normally so we have to discard the oocyte okay, in that case. However, I want to try, try to vitrify the oocyte in this year. So I des immediately designed the, all the solutions, vitrification solutions, and uh, handmade cryotop by myself, and we vitrified to our site. In the next day, the husband came and we got the sperm. Then we warm the two vitrified oocytes. And two of two survived. After giving each, fortunately, two of two fertilized. Two of two cleaved. Then we transplant. Then we get pregnancy. Okay. This is the first pregnancy of human oocyte in 1999. Then, so, I use this technology to, to the, all the embryologists. Okay. For, the, for as many uh, patients as possible. So I make the procedure simpler and simpler for the anyone use. 
Then I give the name, the Crytop method. Then I publish it next year, the good, good survival of a PM Zygot on all sites. Then I give the improvement. <laughs> and then I publish it in, for in 2005. Then I keep continue to improve the procedure. Then is to minimize the volume of the vitrification. This is third, third version, mini volume one. I published it 2008. And this is current method of a cry, cry top method. So many, many countries, in um, well, about more than 40 countries, cry top, top messages used. This version, 2008, four years ago, yeah, this version. Then I give the, uh, the further improvements of this method. Then we completely uh, improve the solution. So this is, you know, non serum We say this is chemical condition medium. Okay, this is no SSS, no serum. So it's very stable. We can, we can use this for one year. So we can preserve it in room temperature. You can freeze it. Okay, this is no virus contamination from serum. It's quite a safety one, and also high high viscosity. So. So after developing this, so we have already experienced more than 800 clinical cases. Still, 100% survival continued. And here too, right, Gora? Yes, in here, this center too, 100% continued. It works very well for anyone. So I'm very happy to be able to spread this technology for the patient, especially the uh, young cancer patients or old patients. Then, you will run this uh, cryotope method today. <laughs>